So on we go with some more championship action, this time the vacant ACB middleweight championship belt. Our first challenger making his way to the red corner. Put your hands together for Kevin Fryer! And the challenger making his way to the blue corner. James Bray! Ladies and gentlemen, your official introductions for the vacant ACB Middleweight Championship. First, the challenger in the right corner. This fighter is 27 years of age. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall and weighing in at 84 kilograms. He has a record of 8 wins, 2 losses, no draws, 7 wins within the distance. Fighting out of Cleveland, Lancashire, Kevin Fire! And across the cage in the blue corner. This challenger of 29 years of age, he stands 6 feet tall and weighed in at 84.5 kilograms. Has a record of 6 wins, 5 losses, no draws, 3 wins within the distance. Fighting out of Hollyhead, James Bray! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ACB at the uh, Sentinels Beacon Centre. I'm Jamie the Haymaker, hey? And I'm Robert Ryler. And we're here now for this middleweight title fight between Kevin Fryer from Sakata and James Bray from the Kai Centre. So what are your thoughts on this fight, Robert? Um, it should be a good middleweight title fight. Um, I, I've seen um, James Bray once before, but Kev Fryer is a monster of a middleweight. Um, last time I seen Kev Fryer fight was against Christoph Pushuche oh, at that that FCC in a war. A ridiculously good fight, um, you know. And Kev is uh, he's now the interim FCC middleweight champion. He's actually fought against Andy Clamp, the uh, light heavyweight title holder on ACB for that title, uh, and then dropped down to middleweight after that fight. Uh, you know, and he's been on an absolute demolishing streak since hasn't he yes he has he definitely has I think he suits middleweight a lot better he's, he's a natural middleweight you look at him he looks a lot better shape now yeah he's, you know, he's a guy with a, a lot of power in his hands um, great jaw oh, um, he's, he's, he, we, we've seen him take two of the biggest kicks I've ever seen in my life off Bahuchke and he just stood there and carried on fighting he was ridiculous yeah he's great work ethic as well um, um, oh that's a, that's a nice Fryer. combo from Fryer there Yeah, James Bray looks a little bit flat-footed, um, a little bit nervous, swinging for the fences there. The thing is, you know, you can swing away at people like, like uh, Kev, but Kev will catch with some really, really devastating uh, punches. He's very, very good counter-puncher. Yeah, if you're going to swing punches at, at Kev, that's one thing, but just make sure that you can defend yourself, because if it catches you right, you could be in serious trouble. Oh, nice kick to the back of the leg there. Just a shout out as well, Kev is a serving UK soldier as well. Yes, he is. Oh, nice knee. Oh, that's a Kev great right. knee. Bray, take, Bray takes, tries to take the, the fight to the cage. Kev fires now in control. 
Yeah, Ke Kevin Lux in control now. He's, he's uh, you know, both very strong oh. lads. So that was a bit of a bit of a low one. Yeah, yeah. You were saying before about Kev being a um, um, a soldier. Yeah, um, he is indeed. Today and stuff. Um, we uh, we had a we had a, a round of applause for the um, for the, the Lee Rigby. Lee Rigby, yeah, which was nice. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a show of appreciation from uh, from the British people uh, at ACB, and uh, yeah. you know, we all, we, everyone got behind behind it. Which yeah, was really, really nice. Everyone got to the feet. Uh, had a nice half a minute round of applause for the late drummer Lee yeah. Rigby. Lest we forget. So uh, he's got. With it being a low blow, he has got five minutes to compose himself here. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah no. with a low blow. Um, now he's just trying to jump on the ground to bring his balls out the out, out, the, out the socket. Yeah, I think it's uh, it was a sometimes it was, it, 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 was, it, it was a ball, ball clacker, it, wasn't it? We yeah, talked about ball clackers before, it, and that was a bit of a ball knocker, <laughs> yeah. more than a, more than a ball clacker. So what is it? The, the balls go in that pocket, don't they? They go in the pocket. They do, like, yeah, yeah, the thing, yeah. And, and you have to, and sometimes you can pull them out, but it hurts a little bit. So if you jump up and down, they'll, they'll, they'll yeah, fall you, out you, themselves. It usually releases the uh, yeah. the, the ball. It's, like, it's like when they're in the, well, it's like sometimes when you get too many balls in a in, in a in a snooker table yeah. pocket, well, and, it, you, yeah. and you wiggle it, and it comes out. Yeah, it releases the balls. Yeah. Anyway, back to the fight. Back to the action. Oh, nice body shot there. Yeah, from it, James Bray. Chopping body shot there, and you can see the mark left straight on uh, on Ke on Kev Fryer's side there. But, you know, we know a lot about the Kaiser. Oh, it's a good punch by Fryer though. Yeah. Bit of blood coming from the nose. I don't know what the problem was there from James Bray, but there's some blood coming from the nose from James Bray now. Yeah, uh, we know we know the Kai Center have got a background in stand up. Uh, you know, he's a he's a, he's a karate, karate based. Um, that was an ambitious. Yeah, it was very ambitious. That it's a, it's a you know it's a karate based uh, organization. Oh, oh that's a big leg kick! I, uh, you definitely felt that one. I felt that one. Yeah, no, you know that was a good round. We got a bit of bloody nose from uh, James Bray there. Uh, Kev Fryer looked in, a, in quite good control of himself with a big, big right leg kick there. Yeah, Jesus, that hurt. Kev Fryer um, surprised me really. Like. Kev Fryer. Hasn't come out in the first round as like the Kev Raya that I saw against Christoph Pahuche. Um he, he seems a little bit, I don't know, he seems a little bit shy. I, I like to see Kev Raya, you know, attack more, get stuck in, maybe throw some combinations. Yeah, I, th I think the combinations is, is, is key in a fight like this because, you know, it's clearly going to be a stand-up fight, uh, you know, and you can make it your own. With, with the, with the stand-up background that the Kai Centre have, um, you know, you'd expect him to be using a, f a few uh, few combinations, but you know, Kev Fryer is nullifying most of James Bray's work so far. Yeah, James Bray looks a bit flat-footed. Uh, he looks nervous early in the round. He looks a little bit, he a little bit more relaxed later in the first round after the um, the balls incident. But that's all past him now. That's all past him, the ball problem. The ball problem, yeah, yeah, he's got his so balls back. back. He's yep. checked both of them and they're both still there. So, round two. Yeah, I'd like to see, I'd like, I'd like to see um, Kev maybe uh, attack um, and throw some combinations. Oh, oh, that's a big, big leg kick there. That's another one as well with combinations. Oh, Kev. Dick, I think Kev got, might have got caught there and that's why he went for the tape, but oh, it's a brilliant oh, big slam. slam. And he's, he has bust open James Bray quite badly. You can see the blood all over um, the, the, back the back of Kevin Fryer, Fryer yeah. 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 Kevin Fryer in, in, inside control. Oh, he's got a standing guillotine. He's, he's not the position you want to be in with a Sakata member. Oh, there we go. Oh, we've got over. a new middleweight champion, Kevin Fryer. And also a broken nose there by the looks of it. Yeah. But there, there, ladies and gentlemen, he's our new middleweight champion at ACB, Kev Fryer. That's the back of the job, that mate. Fighters to the 
Ladies and gentlemen, in our ACB middleweight championship, 43 seconds to round two by Guillotine Joe, your winner and new middleweight champion in our red corner, Kevin Ryan. Again, together for top opponent, Shane Ryan. Another round of applause for the juggernaut. I'm here with the winner and new middleweight champion. How's it feel to have that belt around you? A good win, yeah. We've um, been after it for a while, to be honest, but I'm not coming me out. I just want to thank James the fight, the two opponents. I've known him a while now, but we're a bit much friends, okay, so it's quite hard for both of you to do this. Give me a good fight, as you can see, so I thank James well for taking the fight. We've seen you on a few shows before and you've been dominating and you've been working your way up the ranks. Um, obviously we've seen James fight as well, experienced fighter, was there any type of game plan coming in? Uh, any sort of strategy that you had in James' game that you could take advantage of? I didn't really find anything, I just wanted to test my stand-up because I've never really tested it. Okay. I still don't feel it was that good then, it is better than that in the gym. But obviously when you get an answer to the first goal, yeah, that's what I'm going to work with. You did have a good brawl before the game, is there? Is there anyone nice. Yeah, everyone in the car there. Dan, okay, we've got three in the stand in the car there. Everyone thinks we're just ground fighters. Got two people so champions. Even more so than them, not from there, big deal. Steve, twin brother, I'm sure the car there. Oh, got, everyone knows Gary, Dr. Gary, Alex, and everyone else who helped out with the car there. Thanks for coming. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, your new ACB middleweight champion, Kevin Bryan! Aaron, what was the time on that last fight, mate? 43 seconds round time. This one is the advantage. Come on, then.